Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode one oh nine <laughs> of my Dark Wolf twenty one dot eighteen Let's Play. And today we're going to be handling nuclear waste. <laughs> so uh, let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Um, <laughs> I tried to sleep. Uh, before the episode began, but it's not nighttime. It's just raining, and uh, I can't sleep yet. Uh, maybe soon. It looks like the sun might be going down. Maybe. Uh, but I got a little bit started over here. I got our uh, solar neutron activator and a isotopic centrifuge. Uh, these little guys are what's needed to make our polonium and plutonium. So good times. And then each one of those need to feed their stuff into a pressurized reaction chamber. And then we get uh, spent nuclear waste, which we then have to dispose of in uh, radioactive waste barrels so that it can decay. I don't, I don't really know uh, a good way to do that other than to just make like a little bank of radioactive waste barrels uh, and then go from there. So what do we got? Oh, I need some of these pressurized tubes. Oh yeah, here we go. Now it's daytime. I mean nighttime. So, um, yeah, this thing is working great. Um, it right now I have it, I was playing with it and I was bumping it up and I think it, I got it up to 40, uh, break limit. So that's pretty good since the max is 52. But yeah, it's getting me a lot of power. Um, I had to, I added another port or a valve so that I could extract the power twice as fast. And then I was like, you know, uh, this has a way to bypass the transfer limit. So I went back into my induction matrix uh, where I have my point for this and I also, it uh, got rid of the bypass limit on that. So it now can pull out all the power at once instead of it starting to build up, which, <laughs> which I had it dumping excess because I was like, oh no, if this fills up, it's going to go boom. Uh, but crisis averted. Yeah. Uh, so, I need to hook these little guys up. So, I'm going to do this. There we go. Oh, also, I got the one probe thing, but it's not listing as, like, as much information as I want it to. Like, I can't tell how much is in here. No. Um, let's whack this little guy with our configurator. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, it's already working because these guys get charged up. We've already got polonium. Holy cow. Um, this only has a little tiny bit of plutonium. Oh, because, um, yeah, he's out of power now. All right, so let's get them some power. Point. Um, I guess let us 
put some of the go get a little bit of that going. And ta-da! You guys have power now, right? Um, actually, you know, this guy doesn't look like he takes power. Um, okay, so let's send the polonium. Oh, it's supposed to go out the front. Is that... supposed to go out the front. Okay, so this guy needs to this come oh no it's it needs to come in on the left. There we go. <laughs> oh and this needs water I believe so um, I wonder if I could just do a sink. I don't know if these will automatically deposit their water into these guys. Let's see if we can get the liquid. Oh, all sides can pull in. So we might need, uh, it doesn't look like it's coming in automatically. Yeah, unfortunate. So I guess we can just slap some, some of these guys. Aha. Aha. Now you have water. Okay, so these guys need both need floor. I think it's fluorite uh, dust, fluorite dust, and fluorite dust. Make sure this is all accepts any Minecraft water. Nice. Okay, so now we know that's right, um, and we got all of that hooked up. We need to get. Hmm, that's a long way over there. What I could do is possibly move the sky over, <clears throat> put it over there. I hate to have it so close to the actor, but we should be got. We should be good, right? <laughs> be good. Uh, so I'll have to, yeah, I think if I just set him, like, right there, let's go get, um, that, oh, the range upgrade went in you. There we go. Um, yeah, I just need to get hard out of here and sink it back up. There we go. That should do it. Haha, <laughs> yes. So now if we get um, an export bus, two of them. Oh, look at that. I keep calling it a bus, even though this is <laughs> fine storage. AE2. Okay, so 
I'm gonna need like a couple of craft cards. Uh, so that it will automatically just make our fluorite for us. Be super duper handy dandy. Um, all right. Dust for you. And for you. Uh, so now we got to teach it how to make the fluoride dust, which is just in a crusher. Nice. Okay, so let's go set that up. Um, let's see, do I have, do I have a crusher available? Maybe at the bottom. A basic crushing factory. That's what I'm looking for right there. Um, now that should just, should just work. Oh, ho, ho, it's doing stuff. Look at that, we got polonium. Uh, what about this guy over here? Oh, we don't have enough yet because the the polonium is making so none of the stuff is getting sent over here. Actually, is it not working? Oh, it's not. Hmm, this one isn't, uh oh, what I want to do is um, be able to control that, I guess, so that I can tell it which one I want. Uh, since they both take waste, uh, I don't want them to just run in haphazard. So I think if I do this, put you on normal and you on inverted, if I put a lever, I should be able to oops, not enough room in output, of course. And you uh, not getting anything. Okay, I don't know which one's on, uh, but this is full up. Isn't this one able to make any more? It's got the stuff. Oh, it's does it have zero power really? I thought I oh um no. Yeah, that's that's probably why. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Now we should be getting stuff. So it looks like our um, guy over here, is he working or he is not working? Okay. So let's see what happens if I flip it. Oh, look at that. There we go. Let's let it at least get us one. And there. Oh, where 
did it go? Oh, this isn't getting the fluorite. Can I, I put you in there? Fluorite dust gave you a crafting upgrade. Oh, maybe he's not taking it in. It's items. We want it to come in. There we go. That's much better. The other one just happened to be on the right side. So, good times. Now we need to pull this stuff out. I don't think it's, it's radioactive once it's at this point, but we might as well just dump it directly into our system. So, let's make that happen. We need a couple of importers. Oh, and look at that. We just happen to have it. Um, and we just need to tell these guys to um, eject their items out the front. Eject their items out. Awesome, and then once I hook these guys up, they should automatically take everything into the system. How you doing? Oh yeah, now this is, we have full spent nuclear waste over here. How am I gonna get that out? Uh -oh. And we've got quite a bit over here. So we need to... I'm going to get this out. I've already got like... Oh, maybe I could uh, do the little entangle over. Maybe. That would be an option. Um, yeah. I like really don't know where to put this. Um, plus, we also need some of the uh, nuclear waste. Why are you not? Okay, Maybe it's not nuclear, it's just waste. Yeah. Let's get some of those and some of our pressurized tubes looks like it um, filled up oh it ran out of nuclear waste oh dang so we're out we're clean except for um all the stuff There we go. All right, let's get the entangled blocks. There we go. Um, dude, I can't believe that I don't have that on auto right? There we go. One for each one. And then I need my little doodad. That doodad. All right. So, um, yeah, let's put this kind of like over here. <laughs> All right, so let's go 
grab one of these guys. You guys. Block selected. Oh, and I forgot. Um, let's put let's put these guys down. I don't know. This probably is not enough, or maybe it's too much. I don't know. Uh, all I know is it has a very small decay rate, so the more you have of them, the better, right? So let's get one of you here and one of you here, and you're going to be your dad right there, right? And I think that was the back side. So let's get him to pull. Oh, and this one's not connected yet. So let's get the other guy. Put him over there. We should be done with you. Oh, nope. You get. Okay. So now we have to do is, I guess, tell it to put gases out. Maybe. Do the same for this guy. Haha, -ha. <laughs> looked like it just emptied. And oh, this guy is not. Um, it looks like it's got. can't tell if it's got anything in it. Um, pressurized reaction chamber. So it looks like um, this one emptied all of his junk. But this one did not. So did I do it right? Input, output, on the back. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> no, it's so annoying. Uh, maybe. Just got it uh, configured wrong. You know what I think would help is if I just input output, input output, input output. No? How are you not coming out? And I have to have what is I have to have the bottom input. So <laughs> this is whack. 
Um, this is not. Hmm. Maybe I should try binding it again. This is not. There you go, bro. Pulling out. Well, it looked like this one pulled out, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This one works just fine. Yeah, input output on the back, which is that side in the middle. Trying to think how to do this a little bit differently. Okay, put you there. Oh, and that just <laughs> okay. Um what can I get? I guess I could I could put a pipe there. Ultimate pressurize two. Good. Um, move him. Move him. I guess it. Okay. Uh, gases. I'll put on the back. Oh look! Look, it already it already left here so it should be in that tube right should be in the tube so let's do this we'll grab him Boink. <laughs> what That's I can't tell if this is doing anything. I don't see any particles coming in. Now, does this, this one went in on the bottom just fine. I think you just can't, you, you can only take and put in from the bottom or the top. Uh, but it, it, it works. <laughs> Going in through the bottom works because this is how this is set up. Uh, and it works, so um, we do have more polonium here. So what's the holdup? Um, okay, so I messed up the gases. We need to come in. Right there, we go. That's looking better. Okay, so now we've used up all of our nuclear waste. I just don't think it's going into the barrels. 
because I don't see any waste particles or anything. I don't, I can't even, oh wait, this is pressurized tube, right? We're transferring gases. <laughs> um, all right. Um, conundrum. All right. Well, Let's try and turn it off for a while. Uh, I might be able to uh, bump this up some more. Uh, right now, ooh, look at it go. It's, uh, it's doing pretty stable. The water is keeping up uh, with just one pipe so far. Uh, this guy is producing 1.82 mfe a tick. Um, and it can support up to 2.7 millibuckets a tick. Uh, so we're only doing like 800, which is way less than that. <laughs> so I can totally bump this up a little bit more if I need to. So let's just do the 52 and see. Uh oh. It looks like the temperature is stable. It's uh, doing one million millibuckets and doing two point three seven million fe a tick. Huzzah! And this guy is just pulling everything out. Two point three million fe a tick. Oh, that is so good. Um, I guess this could be a lot smaller um, if I needed to, you know? Uh, but everything is looking okay. The temperature looks okay. Nice. We still got plenty of fuel in here. And I have a whole another chemical tank in uh, the underground base that's completely filled with fissile fuel already, so. Um, awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's um, let this guy roll. But look at all this. It's okay, the waste tank is empty. I just don't know how long I can run this for. How fast this can process the waste. Um, another thing that might help is putting some upgrades in here. I don't, I don't have this area secured or anything, so it's kind of, uh, oh yeah. Uh, so we can speed this up by putting in upgrades and all the machines do. Yeah, this is a speed and energy, so of course.
we go. Oh, look at that. It's processing it way faster now. Oh, yeah. Now we can uh, bump him up. I guess I could do like just all of them at once, right? So I put this table block back up. There we go. <laughs> that just dumped everything right out. See, you can tell that this had uh, waste in it because it turned brown. Uh, let's turn this off for a minute. See, there's nothing in here. So it makes me think that it's going in, but none of these guys have holes. I don't know, but all of it's going. All of it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, let's let him use up all his stuff. There we go. So I, I don't I don't know. It looks like it's working. See the water's keeping up just fine with the one sink. <laughs> this is <laughs> to me that's crazy because in my ocean block I had tens and tens of uh, 10 or 20 pumps pumping water into it and wasn't enough so that is just whack that that is doing that and this is whack 2.37 million at the e a tick that's great oh yeah so we need to upgrade these guys too oh actually the solar neutron activator doesn't have an upgrade tab, so we can't do anything with him. Uh, but we can get this guy. So we now have stuff coming in. Um, now this is going into our refined storage system. Uh, no, it's polonium. Polo. Polo. Polonium. We got 54 polonium. What about the plutonium? We got 19 of those. We can do stuff with this already. Check it out. Oh, check this out. Um, I now have my uh, induction matrix. It has more than one cell in it now. I put... Uh, Yes, 14.4 Terra Fe. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have hardly anything now, so. But yes, um, see, it's getting 2.4 million in. Hardly anything out, so. <laughs> It's going. It 
it's going good. See how this one, this one has a part, oh wait. The pipes have particles showing that it's got stuff in there. Oh, this is uh, energy pipe, so it's not going to have particles. I just keep thinking I put the wrong pipes or something, but it wouldn't come out if it didn't have a place to go. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe it got stuck inside the entangled block. It doesn't look like there's any inside this block at all. So I have no idea where it's going, but <laughs> this is working. It's doing good. Uh, we're getting tons and tons of FE. Huh? Nice, nice. We got this buddy cranked all the way up. So and it's and it's doing good. It's doing good. And we got uh, tons more fuel to burn through. So that's good, I guess. Oh wow. I thought we had extra time to start doing other things with our like plutonium and stuff, but um, yeah, it's been a little bit over actually. So I guess we'll go ahead and call the episode here. We were successful in our quest for plutonium and uh, polonium. We got both of them coming in. Uh, all we got to do is flip this little switch. Here we go, boom, and start getting the plutonium. I don't think you need as much plutonium uh, as you do polonium. Because if you look at the recipes, there's only like one uh, that is used in this. That's the SPS casing. And then you can make some reprocessed thistle fragments. And yeah, so it's just for the SPS casing. Um, and we're not, uh, not quite ready for that yet, maybe. I mean, we need a lot more polonium in order to do that because uh, it, it is a multi-block structure. Oh dude, we can totally run that off of 2 million FE a tick. That would be super swell. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, and turn this guy off for a little while. Um, I'm going to call the episode here and I'm probably going to go try and figure out what I can start doing with all this polonium, because, um, yeah, we can make lots of stuff with the polonium. It's used in the supercharged coil for the SPS. Uh, it's used in various upgrades for the mechanism armor. Uh, the QIO. I watched a video about this a long time ago. The QIO is basically a mechanism storage system, uh, but it's really in game because it's taken polonium. Uh, but you can see it's got types and items on there. Uh, so there's our SPS casing. We can make the mecha suit. That would be cool. Um, the, the mechanism armor has lots of cool doodads and stuff, just like the pneumatic craft, only not sure. I think the, the base for this might be diamond. So it might actually be better than diamond armor once, once it's done. You're done upgrading it and stuff. Uh, yeah. Locomotive boosting unit. Dude, I want to try um, 
So I want to try some of the pneumatic craft stuff too, because there are some pretty cool features on this that I thought might be, uh, see, like, here's the QIO thing. Uh, here's a portable QI dashboard. So it's cool. The drive array, vision enhancement unit, a bunch of the cute. Oh, we will have to make this modification station. Uh huh. And a fusion reactor. There's our fusion reactor frame. Wow. <laughs> Oh, and there's a way that you can make... Oh, dude, it's so dark. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call the episode here before I talk your ear off. And we'll, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.